Hey guys, Joshua here, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Prism Plus Q65, an Android TV that is only at 999 SGD. First up, let's get the tech specs out of the way. The Q65 here, as its name implies, is a 65-inch IPS TV with a resolution of 3840 by 2160 so it's 4K UHD, and a refresh rate of 60Hz, while the entire screen measures in at a length of 144.7cm, with the height being 83cm. For ports, for ease of access, on the right side of the TV facing the side, you're getting a USB 2.0 port, HDMI 1 port, which is also a HDMI ARC, and a USB 3.0 port. And then, moving on to the back where the rest of the ports are, there's your antenna in, surface port, digital audio out, another two HDMI ports so you can connect your consoles or other players, a LAN port, and AV in. The Q65 is also a digital TV ready, and with their launch specials, they do give you a free digital antenna so you can access local channels and watch local shows with no problems. For colors on the Q65, they are beautiful and absolutely brilliant with 1.07 billion display colors and a contrast ratio of 1300 to 1 while having HDR10 and also Dolby Vision. We'll talk a bit about this in a little bit. So all of this paired with the fact that it is a 4K resolution TV and has the premium zero bezel design makes it an amazing viewing experience. I've been watching movies and different TV series on this and personally, I think it's brilliant. If you're watching high speed action, you can choose to turn on the MEMC motion smoothing, which basically just adds frames to the scenes so they play at 60 FPS and become smoother, but that'll be up to you. I don't usually turn it on for myself but well, it's there if you want it. Something that I definitely have to commend Prism Plus for is that they have been able to integrate some really great speakers into the Q65. The Q65 supports Dolby Audio and True Surround Sound, and these speakers really take advantage of that. I'm not a bass head, but I can definitely feel the bass and the sound that comes out. It has this really defined clarity and you get a really immersive feeling, even with these built-in speakers. I can only play you some copyright-free music, but I am legit impressed by the sound from these speakers. They are just, well, they're definitely comparable to some soundbars out there. Now, you can have great sound, but if the content you're watching is like even 1080p on this huge screen and you're a bit particular about the quality like me, you would definitely be annoyed by low quality video on a high resolution screen. Prism Plus have actually managed to get official licenses for Netflix and Prime Video, so you'll be able to watch 4K content at will on the TV, which they've actually even added dedicated buttons for Netflix, Prime Video, YouTube, and Google Play on their remote. Now, I did say I was going to talk about HDR10 and Dolby Vision. So Dolby Vision is basically a more premium option with dynamic HDR. So when watching video, because it is recorded and produced for Dolby Vision, specifically to display at a 12-bit color depth, but there are no 12-bit TVs out in the wild currently, so Dolby Vision downsamples its color depth to 10-bit, which looks very slightly better than native 10-bit color. HDR10 is the more widely available option, so on Netflix and Amazon Video, you'll see a lot more content that can display HDR10 rather than Dolby Vision. Dolby Vision is definitely a nice option to have in your TV, and maybe next time when we get like 12-bit TVs, it will become more relevant. Anyways, I'm digressing a little bit. Back to the Prism Plus Q65. The Q65 is running the Android TV operating system, so you're getting access to the Google Play Store, which means you can access a ton of apps like Spotify, Twitch, Crunchyroll, NBA, DC Universe, just to name a few. Also, access to the Google Play Store means that you can download the Puffin TV app due to the fact that it is a browser that has been optimized for Android TV, and it also has Flash built-in, so you can actually watch anime through sites like Funimation or Hulu, or you can even stream videos from MeWatch if that's what you enjoy. With inbuilt Chromecast, you don't need an external Chromecast or Apple TV to project your phone screen to the TV, and the cherry on top, which is the Google Voice Assistant. I can't stress enough how nice it is to have Google at my back and call, Prism Plus also have this dedicated Google Assistant button on their remote, so you just press it, 
tell Google what you want. And because there is a mic built into the remote, you don't need to scream, you just whisper it to the remote and it transmits all of that which you say to the uh, TV via Bluetooth. And speaking of the remote and Bluetooth, the remote is connected via Bluetooth to the TV. So it has Bluetooth 5.0 and you can connect your soundbar, keyboard, mice, etc. to really make this the centerpiece of your home. You may have noticed that my Q65 seems to be like floating slightly and that's because I'm actually using the Canva TV stand that they offer with it. So the Q65 has 200 by 200 mm wall mounting which enables this to be attached to stands or different mounts such as a fixed or swivel mount to your wall but of course you can just use the stand legs that they provide and put it on a TV console or table. Personally, I went with the Canva just because I think it looks very aesthetically pleasing and it's very easy to move around. The legs are made out of beech wood with cable management and also anti-slip feet and I went with this tripod version over the quad version so that I can just swivel the TV to any angle that I well want to because I'm constantly changing the layout of my living room so this just makes it super simple. As I mentioned at the start, pricing on the Q65 is 999 SGD which at this price is literally the best value for a TV of this caliber you'll ever find. I went and surveyed to check out other brands with this sizing and also features. I could not find anything under 1500 SGD. The Prism Plus Q series Android TV also come in two other form factors. So they have a 55 inch at 699 SGD and a 75 inch at 1599 SGD. So basically the only big difference is the sizing and price. But other than that, the features and functions are all the same. So you have options to create your own centerpiece. Anyways, that's been it for the video. I hope that it was helpful going through all the features that it offers and I'll leave links to everything I talked about in the video description box below. And remember like and subscribe and also leave a comment if you'll be getting this. Well, I do think it's really good value. And yeah, I'll catch you in the next one. Ciao!